Malaria is preventable and treatable, yet 900,000 people die from it every year. It takes the lives of 2,000 children every day in Africa alone. In order to greatly reduce the impact of this disease, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation brings together partners from around the world to fight malaria through a multi-pronged approach. So you have this unique opportunity being brought together through this partnership that you have. Those who can work on advocacy, those who can work on the science of it, who have the manufacturing and the knowledge, and then you have the people who are actually going to use it. And then together, I think we have just a fantastic collaboration which will make sure that we have a good product which is usable for everybody. Some of these partners focus on developing new medicines that fight drug-resistant malaria. Others are working on a malaria vaccine. And some partners are making sure people have access to tools that can protect them against the mosquitoes that carry malaria, like bed nets. The cost-effective way for most people is to use nets. And if you can add an insecticide on a net, you make that net even a better tool for prevention of malaria. Our target is to have everybody uh, have in their disposal a mosquito net, but more importantly to have them sleeping under their mosquito net so that they are protected from malaria. The challenge is to get nets out there, meaning to have a good distribution system. We have to give it to those people who are most vulnerable, children and pregnant women. Indoor spraying is another protection that can greatly reduce the number of mosquitoes and larvae in people's homes. Starting with a pos positive uh, aspect of the, the, the indoor residual spraying, communities have started seeing uh, their children or their relatives suffering lesser from malaria. We've managed to reduce malaria from um, very high levels of prevalence. In this area where we are now, it was about 80%, down to less than 20%. And in some of the districts where we started, we're now down to less than 5% prevalence. The challenge is, when you have a, such a success, is to stay at the top and um, not to let it slide. Something like this has to be sustained over a long period of time. You can't just stop now. If you stop now, everything would go back to how it was originally. If progress continues on all fronts, we have the opportunity to greatly reduce the number of lives affected by malaria and eventually rid the world of this disease. <laughs>